So, the potions are very expensive and also I'm too lazy to stock up some food. So today I'm going to show you the best way to heal yourself. As you can see, I'm recovering tons of my health. So it's easy guys, let me show you the chart. So the chart is a blue chart. It's called healing chart and when you use it, it consumes some MP. So you might want to need to improve on your MP recovery, but we're going to talk about it later. So back to the chart. The enemy who drops the shard are these ladies. It's called the Sith. And I'm gonna show you the location that she spawns. So make your way to the underground sorcery lab and just head out. There are gonna be tons of Sith in this room, so yeah, just do the usual stuff, you know. Hunt her. Just for the sake of shot hunting, you know. Now, keep in mind that luck is very important when you go shot hunting. As you can see, as of the moment, I have like 92 luck already. So it's very easy for me for some specific shot to drop. So make sure you maximize your luck and even one luck makes different so try to increase your lux as much as possible you can get it from your equipment as usual i'm using true plunderous ring and also i'm wearing ribbon also you can increase your luck by carrying books you know and as you can see here i'm carrying a godsend tomb which increased your luck by 15 points that's a lot. So make sure to carry a tomb which increase your luck. The next step is to improve your chart as much as possible. So there are two aspects, all right? The first one is the grade, the grade of the chart. The grade of the chart increases when you collect the same type of charts over and over again. And the higher the grade is, the more amount of health you will recover per hit. Say the first grade of healing chart would heal you for 4 HP and when you maximize it to the 9th grade, it will recover 15 HP. Next is to come back to this guy and enhance your chart. Right, so to en enhance the healing chart, you would need potions, high potions, and also X potions. And if I remember correctly, you would need about 4 potions, and 3 high potions, and maybe 2 X potions. Um, need a little bit of work on that. The last step is to improve your MP recovery rate. As you can see here, my MP recovers very fast. So you want to work on that. You know, eat a lot of food and try to maximize the MP recovery rate. And here I have my MP recovery rate improved by 8 points per second. So that's quite a lot. So make sure you eat food that helps this. Some of them are apple juice, right? Is improve your MP recovery rate by one point per second. And also this one, strawberry ole. I don't know how to pronounce it. Also the fish hot pot, if you are able to make it. And of course, more drinks. Since the drinks help your MP, so lemonade and smoothie and also fruit juice and check out the nectar, the nectar improves it by 2 points per second. And that's it guys, that's my best way to recover your health 
without using any portions or eating any food. So again, if you have a better MP recovery rate, it helps a lot since you can um, heal yourself over and over again. So all you need to do is take a quick break, you know, get rid of all the enemies in the room and take a quick break and press that R1 button and there you go. You can survive the game without using any potions or any food at all. So I hope this helped. I hope you enjoy the game and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.